Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over some news that was released today. So it's August 19th, 2021, and LibreOffice 7.2 was released. And this is a little blog entry on that. But if I scroll down here, it says LibreOffice 7.2 is now available natively for the Apple Silicon. So I think that's pretty big news. So I'm going to try installing it here and verify that it is actually native. So you do need to go to this page here, and I'll put a link below to this blog post so you can check it out. But you need to go to this link. So if I click on this here, it lists all sorts of different language packs and stuff, but you just go to this first entry here, which is LibreOffice 7.2 Mac OS A Architecture 64. And if you click on that and download it, you will get this here. So I currently have the older version installed. So I'll open that up. I'm using 7.1.4.2. So you'll want to quit out of LibreOffice before upgrading. And I've downloaded and opened up the archive that I downloaded. I'll just drag this over. It'll ask if I want to keep the old one. I'll say replace. Okay, that is finished. I have this in my dock, so I'll try and open it. So when you upgrade, it should work with the previous dock icon. Otherwise, you can go into your applications folder and open it. It says it was downloaded from the internet. Do I want to open it? I'll say open. Okay, it's open. I'll create a new spreadsheet or open. Close these little messages here. So if we go back to this page here, it does say because of the early phase of development on this specific platform, binaries are provided but should not be used for any critical purpose at this stage. So you'll have to determine yourself if you want to try using this. I feel very comfortable using it and I can always remove it and put the Intel version back on. So this seems to be working just fine. I don't have any benchmarks to run on this. I don't know if they exist. I imagine they might, but it should in theory probably run faster, but it could also run more efficiently. I'm on an M1 Mac mini, but on a laptop, this should run more efficient than the Intel version, I'm guessing. But let's just double check that this is the Apple Silicon version. So we'll go up to the Apple menu. I'll go to about this Mac. I'll go to system report. On the left side, I'll click on applications. This can take a second to come up. There we go. And we're sorted by application name. I can go down to LibreOffice. And here it says it's iOS. That's interesting. So let's sort by kind here. So here we have Rosetta 2 updater. It says Apple Silicon. We have a bunch of Intel software. Then we have other. And typically you'll see universal next to the kind. I'm not sure why that says iOS. If I look at my other iOS software, I see Amcrest Smart Home, and that is an iOS app. But then I see Blender there, and that is a Mac app. And same with LibreOffice, Fire TV, and Fang, those are also iOS. So yeah, I'm not sure why that says that, because I don't think there's a version of LibreOffice for iOS, unless I'm mistaken. Then if we go to LibreOffice, I'll hit About LibreOffice. Don't see any information here. We see CPU threads is eight. And then let's go into the Applications folder. I'll go down to LibreOffice. I'll right click on it and say get info. And here it says kind application Apple Silicon. I'm going to open Amcrest Smart Home in the same way. It also says Apple Silicon. So it doesn't, this is an iOS app, the Amcrest Smart Home and LibreOffice is running on the Mac, but they both say Apple Silicon here. So it is running natively. Of course, we can open up other things like the text document. Presentation. So I don't do any hardcore work with LibreOffice. I mostly open up basic spreadsheets and word processing documents. So if you do have anything that is very processor intensive and you try this new version that supports Apple Silicon, drop a comment below. I'm interested to see if it's running better, the same, or worse for you. So I think this is nice that this is out now. I'm having to run less and less Intel software on my Apple Silicon processor. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.